because I sold the Jeep and I bought a Mustang. So today I'm going to actually catch crayfish and cook them and eat them. There's tons of crayfish there. If you just lift off the rocks, you can catch them. I actually posted another video on it and it got a lot of views, so I thought maybe I should do it again because I haven't done it since last year. I'm gonna catch a couple of them and we're gonna cook them up and we're gonna eat them. What I do to catch these things is just lift up rocks. I look underneath the rocks and they just, they're just chilling there and you just grab them. 30 seconds to find this first one. Just a little guy, but he's still, still got some meat in his tail. Gotta wash them off. Got one claw. Wonder what he was doing. In the bucket. Crayfish actually burrow into like this the dirt in the so there's a hole right here. And I've noticed like this crayfish peeking in and out, so I just got this worm and I threw it on a stick. And I'm gonna see if I can't coax him out. Oh yeah, he's Oh, he took the worm. Really demolished that it's a big cray holy Oh my god, it's a huge crayfish. Put this on the end of the stick, like that. Worm on a stick. I can't get him to come out of here. He smells it. Oh, there he is, you see him? Oh, he really wants it. Oh, we got him. We got him. Look at that crayfish. Holy crap. Man, that claw has got some meat in it. That is a crayfish. Oh my god. Now that that's that's an eating size crayfish right there. These other ones don't even come close to that. Oh my god. Just look at the size comparison in there. Such a good method to catch crayfish. I've already gotten two big old guys. Still got my uh, worm on a stick in his hand. So I just got done catching the crayfish. Uh, we got a whole bunch of small ones and a, and a couple big ones. I started catching the big ones when I would go into that burrow. I saw a whole bunch of other holes like on the shoreline. I don't know if those were like actual crayfish burrows or not, but they were up out of the water. Uh, I might come like with a shovel next time, see if I can't dig them out. But here's the ones that we have so far. But if you know uh, if crayfish burrow out of the water, let me know down in the comments if you're just watching this video. Because uh, I definitely would want to check that out next time I come. The most main way to do this is to put them on ice first. So the ice basically uh, it slows them down and kind of like puts them to sleep so they don't feel when you put them in the water. So just, I'm going to get a bucket like this and I just fill it up with ice like this. Then I'm going to make like a slurry. Ice cold water. The ice they go. Mix them a little bit. Yeah, so this this would basically slow them down enough to where they basically fall asleep, and then they won't feel like you put them in into the boiling water is the most humane way to do it. I'm gonna throw some garlic powder, some all-purpose salt and some Old Bay seasoning into the water. And put this back in there. Fish in here. So there's the crayfish. Here's a steamer. Set the timer for about eight minutes, seven minutes. Let it go seven minutes. Put them in the steamer. And cover it up. Make some garlic butter. Just one clove of garlic. I chop that up into little pieces. Throw that in the pan. Take some butter. Throw that in the pan. That Old Bay. I'm going to throw that into here too with the butter and the garlic. Take a little cup, cup 
like this. We see that those crayfish are getting ready to be eaten. The Brandywine River, the where the place where I got my crayfish out of, doesn't have the best reputation of being clean. So I'm gonna leave them in for like another 30, 45 seconds just to make sure. I'd rather eat overcooked crawfish than undercooked crawfish because I don't want to get some sort of disease or parasite or something like that. Steamed crayfish. All right. So pretty easy to eat. Just take this out of here. Like so. And take the, you can just pop this open like that. Crawfish don't have a very big vent. You pull down right here. You'll be able to open up that vent right there. And you can pull out the poop. Nasty. The butter garlic. Down the hatch. Mmm. That butter garlic is amazing. Man, those are good. There we go. It's a big old chunk of meat. Dip it in the butter. Mmm. These are so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know you guys enjoyed the last one because it got a lot of views, but uh. This time, if you guys are looking to see more of this types of these types of videos, like the catching cooks, I'll definitely be willing to do more of them because they're fun and tasty. So leave a comment down below if you guys want to see more of these. Uh, but thanks for watching. I wonder what my mom is gonna say when she sees all these in the trash. Hmm.